Let me just put this in. Okay, uh, let me make a little uh, introduction first. So today we're going to continue our workshop on Chinese brush painting. Um, and the next uh, subject matter is uh, this flower. What is it called, Jamie? So this is the um, yellow apricot blossom and it's called uh, my flower and it's the um, symbol of um, South Vietnam during the um, festival um, New Year Tet, uh, which happens um, in uh, February or sometimes mid-January. Um, and every year in Vietnam, uh, it's a celebration. Uh, families bring the trees in the homes. Uh, you will see them everywhere, even if you travel to South Vietnam. And it's a, a symbol for good luck, prosperity, and um, um, love as well. So they hand decorative, uh, like a, uh, money, a red envelope or something on, yes, uh, on that, right? Yes, that's correct. So yeah. they, um, the Vietnamese people would uh, put their wishes, uh, blessings, oh, prayers, yeah. Uh, on the tree as well. Okay, so great. that's what you would see. Yeah, I found this uh, on the internet. It's a New Year's de uh, de themed um, decoration. And I found this as a, um, uh, the real plant for a picture. So we're going to uh, make a brush painting out of this. Uh, and I also have some reference of uh, pictures. I, I made just black and white to study the, the structure of it. So uh, this one is the close-up of a, a flower with this uh, uh, kind of uh, stamen. It's different than uh, any apricot uh, tree blossom. It's a bush. Right? It's different than the, I mean the plum blossom that uh, what we call it in Chinese. So this is a trunk. I think uh, they could be very old, uh, and it's in a bonsai uh, part. Style. And this one is. Uh, uh, flower in various numbers of uh, petals. How many petals they are actually? So you can find them uh, from five up to ten, mm. and you will have five, six, um, sometimes seven. I've I've seen them with seven, and it's quite rare, which I like, and also yes. up to ten. Okay, so we'll use this. Uh, uh, this one has multiple uh, petals as a reference. Many okay, to study. So let's study the flowers first, and then we'll do the branches. The branches is relatively uh, easy because it's just like uh, any uh, tree blossom. Maybe uh, let me just get some uh, Japanese paper. So we, we, we'll draw, we'll draw the structure of the flowers to have a better understanding of the uh, the petals. And then uh, some buds, right? Some, some maybe fruits. The, the fruits looks like a Mickey Mouse face. Do you know that? Ah, uh, I think I've heard that. Yeah, it's a it's a, name, a nickname in English. They call the Mickey Mouse uh, flower because the fruit looks like eyes, two two eyes. I don't know, but we were not going to uh, do that stage of uh, the flowers. So we we just stay with. Uh, uh, the uh, yeah, is this uh, okay? I'll just use any brush. So basically, um, you can you can study the flower just by using uh, outlines. So I'm using dark ink just to to uh, make it easier to show on the camera, maybe also. So multiple flowers but with a little bit uh, uh, tip usually the, the the blossom you know we, we start from the like a, like that that's the petal of uh, one flower you know something like that I see and in, in gombi painting the elaborate style we, we may have indicated the thickness of that well in Xie we uh, we don't do double lines, we just do the contour line, that's it. And if you draw faster, you can, if you do, if you do like uh, very small, 
you, you can just draw two strokes per per flower, per per petal like that. And if it's a five or six, you may do three and just add some in in, in between. Uh, you can make it even more when you have multiple petals. This is what we do. We do three or four to start with. And leave some gap in, in between. Don't worry about that. It's, it's much easier than five, you know, the, the, the star shape of the plum. And then you can add, I don't know how many, maybe it's more than what we need. But, um, so you can also just combine them. So uh, you, you have five on this first layer already. And then the, the center is the, the stamen. It looks like a, uh, like this, just uh, lines, not uh, like uh, the pollen. Very, uh, we don't really see that. I think we can just do with, uh, uh, with that. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to do the. Oh, maybe we should study a little bit more about uh, the the pet, uh, the calyx, and uh, you can see calyx very clearly. That it looks like. Uh, uh, pretty long. What do you call this name? It's like little leaflets. <laughs> um, calyx, just calyx, and with a long stem, but not a big uh, fruit. Uh, the fruit maybe it's not fruit. This is a bud. Right? That's the bud. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think. It, I think. I don't think it's a big fat uh, fruit there. It's just uh, a thin stem, like a cherry. Pretty, very much like a cherry. So and then, but but it has this uh, long uh, cherry-like uh, stem also. It, it it has a stem like that. So three of them typically, it could be yeah. I think three is good. <coughs> See that three, three, three. Yeah. So you can do the three and then add the 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 but. So that's uh, that's about it. Um, so I don't really see the center, uh, the the circle. Really. So you don't have to. You, uh, you can just draw the center like that, just pointing to the radiate to the imaginative center. That's. And they have like this long one that I'm noticing that I've um, I, that I've never noticed oh, before. Oh, that's pistol. That's yeah. a good idea. Yeah, that's pistol. I never noticed before. Yeah, that's a pistol. Uh, that's a green. So we can use green. Uh, that's a green color, and then uh, this orange, uh, and this is yellow. So this yellow apricot, yellow apricot is the common name in Vietnam. Right? Okay, something like that. And yeah, the pistol could be like that. Yeah. Okay. That's a very good observation. That's good. And we ha also have little young leaf shoots. Uh, this could be done in, in uh, reddish green or tender green with a uh, rouge. Yeah. It's uh, similar to cherry blossom. Something like that. That that's usually comes with the, the flower uh, at the same time. Yeah. It could be the same time. Some some don't have. Some have le mm. has leaves. So that's uh, and then you have the 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 bud for the flowers. That, that's the leaf. Uh, this is the trunk. I mean the the branches. Um, I'm still in. in yeah. the picture? Okay, good. So I'm going to show you some concept concept of composition. That's uh, universally. Uh, apply uh, applied to this blossom, but to this blossom, you can keep that. Okay, so this is like practice paper. Yeah, this is a, a calligraphy practice paper right okay. here, right for for calligraphy practice. Okay, it's it's, it's a Daiso product. Yeah, Daiso Japan products. Okay, so. I have a handout for you. Uh, on this handout, uh, let me just fold this paper to show you what this means. Okay, on this handout, 
their uh, numbers and the letters. The numbers, uh, there are eight numbers. So this method is called the eight positions of starting off a branch. Okay, if you, if you, um, it. Uh, there are quarters. I'm not really quarter. I don't know how to do identify. Oh, I see um, it. Okay, I I try to find a mathematical way to do this uh, this line. So maybe we make some uh, diagonals. I see diagonals, right? diagonals, and then we make a, make a quarters. Uh, I'll just fold, fold, fold it into half, right? and uh, and another time, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Right? I think so. so yeah, if you folded the paper, uh, in, in uh, the grid, you know, like this, just fold it twice. Yeah. Okay. So you got uh, quarters, uh, not thirds, because the rule of thirds is the Western. The Chinese using this eight eight mm. branch. Uh, Eight, um, what do you call the eight position? So if I number them, uh, for, for first of all, uh, I think this is a universal two that we should avoid the middle, the the centers. So this 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 four should be avoided, and then there's what, a yeah, shadow. There's a shadow. Oh, the shadow of the of you of me. All right. So let me, yeah, that's very good, huh? Let me just uh, standing on this side. Thank you for, yeah, that's a sun pasture. Okay, so we have a, we have a, a eight points starting off. So there are numbers. One, let's start from the bottom. The bottom is very common. And uh, this morning, we did a bamboo. So can you tell which number on the map? Number one, yeah. Number one. The number one area. It's so not a point. It's just uh, this up to here, you know. Up right. I think the thirds maybe up to the third. So you can start anywhere in in this range. That's number one, but uh, not starting from this uh, this point, this middle line. Oh, okay. And then this is uh, number two. So then let me just number it. No, one, two. And then uh, three. three, three, four, five. So it just goes up uh, and uh, eight, uh, seven, eight, right? So this is the eight positions to starting off. Uh, I have illustrations on this handout. Uh, you can see examples of one, uh, two, uh, three, four. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, right? So if you're starting off from uh, these uh, eight sections, uh, you, you should be safe. Don't start from the dead corner or the dead, dead center. Mm. So that, is that easy to understand? Yeah. So uh, which one you will pick? I will do a, a painting. Uh, just a, a design of the painting, just based on uh, the, which one you like. I feel this one. Okay, so let's start from number six. six. Uh, you don't really have to start from number six exactly. You can start a little bit higher. So this is a, uh, the diagonal line, it looks like. Uh, you can leave some brick for flowers in front of the uh, branch. Um, it is very important when you draw tree branches, when you have a down branch, uh, you go up in the end a little bit. So, yeah, it turns up a little bit like that, right? Is uh, that a balance thing or Yeah, just energy? a balance. Uh, if you have an upward stroke uh, in the end, you, you, bring, you, you, know, you see that, 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 that uh, upward and have the, the kind of back turn. Uh, generally, when you have a, a hanging branch like this, the, it, the energy behind it is the sun. It's, it it tries to uh, face the sun always, mm. right? so it goes up. That indicates this branch is life. Life, life. It's life. life. If it's that dead branch, you won't see that. It's just falling 
yeah, right? yeah, life. Yeah, that's the indication of life energy. Okay, so uh, and then you can have a, a secondary uh, supporting uh, branch like that. And you know, I don't have to follow that because uh, uh, there are other roles here. Um, that's very simple. You you don't want to make a crossing uh, with three lines. Uh, okay. Uh, let me just make a mistake on this one, and then uh, we, we can avoid. So don't don't make another line right from this same point. You can you can start from here, you know, mm. uh, or yeah, just avoid uh, starting or making crossing like uh, you don't. This uh, like uh, we have a soft crossing here. You don't want to make another crossing here. So you, what you can do is you can uh, cross like that. Okay, you can, you can go like that. So the uh, if you as long as you follow these two rules, uh, you should be fine. Uh, don't cross three lines on the same point, and don't start divide a, a three lines from a single starting point. So to make it uh, simple, uh, to avoid chicken feet. Or why? Uh, and uh, avoid uh, this. What do you call? Star. <laughs> uh, Star. Yeah. So th th these are not not not, not good. To do. Yeah. Not to do. Uh, and to do is to make uh, one. You know, long and short. Vary the the length between each uh, angular change. Um, and uh, diagonals, uh, keep a, a main uh, tendency, say like a diagonal tendency, and mm -hmm. uh, also sub, you know, sub tendency maybe uh, all the other branches could uh, follow. So, you, and, and you can make it very sophisticated, uh, looks very sophisticated, as long as you follow this, uh, these two rules. And then you uh, you can draw uh, just positioning the, you, whatever the flower should be, you know it could be pink or, or yellow or whatever. Uh, you can you can plan off the the uh, layout like this. Yeah. I have a question. Yes. So you know, like you said, for example, don't do the Y's. Yeah. But here I, I see like Y. Um, the so Y means uh, you you have. Some uh, symmetrical, oh, okay. yeah, sy symmetrical Y. So okay. if you have uh, the Y looks like that, it's not a Y. Okay. And usually one uh, side is longer than the other. Okay. Yeah. Uh, if you have a, like this, it's more like a Y, oh, yeah. but it's still not a Y. Yeah. Why? Uh, Why? I I mean this like uh, like this a split, like a fork. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, avoid the. F what's a fork? The the. The, the, the eating tour. No, I understood that it has to be like equal length. Like uh -huh. we have yeah, to yeah, avoid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Avoid the, yeah. the fork. Uh, okay. So, understand? No, yeah. Yeah. No, no questions? Okay. Yeah. Now, uh, so just remember the eight positions of starting off. So you don't start from the middle. If you uh, not sure, at least, yeah, to avoid the middle and uh, the centers. Uh, okay, another thing is the focal point. It, it should be uh, in one of these uh, this areas, like A, B, C, D. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is the A, uh, B, C, D. Oh, yeah. But don't have to. It could be, uh, but avoid the center again. So this, uh, this center area is not good. So see, if I don't pay attention, I, I usually do it in the center. Mm -hmm. so the, the focal point could be further uh, mm. to the side. Yeah. So avoid the center. See, the white area is a uh, uh, void area. Yes. The, the, the uh, gray like area is what, uh, uh, good, what's good yeah. to put the focus in, yeah. the, the, especially the circled area. So uh, I'm going to do the, the flowers now. Uh, let me see. I, I'll just use uh, regular paper, I think. Oh, we have this. Uh, uh, do you want to use uh, raw paper or 
uh, unsized paper because these are more orthogonal, maybe more uh, wider. Oh, we have double showing here. Double showing. Double showing is uh, color is more extent. It, it more. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Let me. That's thick. Yeah. That's very thick. Yeah. You, it, you have to paint slower. Oh, let me just use the si the semi size. Okay, semi size paper. Let me give you. I just do the larger ones. You like to see larger? Is is this a uh, good? To see? Yeah, we just need to uh, be careful the the shadow. The shadow. Yeah, I think we should uh, move to the yeah to that table. Then can you can I just use this felt? Uh, yes. Okay. Let me just uh, move here. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about the shaking. We can edit it off, but it's okay, I think. Whoops. Uh, okay, here. There we go. Oh, yeah, now we are fine. Yeah. Okay. Let me take my. I can use your brush so we don't have to move around everything. Uh, let me see. I use this brush. I got this brush. Me. You want uh, this chair? Yeah, sure. I just need a yellow brush and brown brush. That's about it. Yeah, I, I think we need a clean brush. I'm going to clean this. I, I'll uh, come back with a palette also. Now it's good. It's good. Yes, right. Thank you. So uh, we just used the bamboo uh, brush I used for the, the for the uh, trunk, I mean, the trunk and the and the branches. I just use I just facial tissue maybe. Oh, I I use this damp uh, to keep the the color more uh, moisturized. So I, I also use them <laughs> in the end to as well as a paper towel. So I I can use this for blotting. It's clean, and the texture best. So I'm going to you can just watch here until you set up. Okay. So I use a little bit uh, brown to start with. Uh, you can mix them with green to mute it. They are complementary colors. Uh, and uh, if you want to make it uh, deeper, uh, you can have some blue and some rouge to make a, um, like a coffee color. Right? So we, we don't use any, uh, we don't have to use any ink. We just use uh, colors to make it uh, uh, nice brown. So four colors, this two pair and this two pair. Right. So we'll start from this number six area again. And I try to avoid the center or go to, to this uh, focal area. Uh, but what, what about this uh, part? We can put uh, birds. <laughs> Let me see, no, no birds, huh? Uh, then we are talking about uh, the main branch and uh, remember we have a baby, baby branch. We have a host and guest. The major role and the supporting role there, right? So the, that's the idea. So we, we do a major one and then a supporting. So the, this one goes on top and then uh, I just look at the, the angle, the angle. The, see, that's the, because this, this is more squarish, so I don't have to follow that. But, uh, uh, basically it goes down diagonally and goes up Right, so the lower point is right, right there, I think. And uh, 
we can be for up like that. Right. Sometimes uh, I follow a sequence. Sometimes I, uh, you know, want to take uh, control the, the the map out to the control point. The control point is the lowest and the the, the farthest, maybe some, something like that. Usually, so you don't run out of room before you realize it uh, too late. And then, uh, like we discussed, we want to go up. Uh, you, know, you don't have to stay with one example. If you if you want to, you can uh, just rotate it. See if uh, you find a, a better reference angle. So you can go with that, and uh, we can go like a circle. So, oops, I pressed too much. Um, so here is the problem. Uh, this two three sections are almost the same, right? So we try to solve that to next. I don't know how. <laughs> um, just to make it, this one longer, we'll, we'll, we'll avoid that, I think. Maybe you're adding flowers. Or... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can just leave. When I add something, I leave a break, so we don't have to combine this. Uh, just add some blue. And uh, so when you make correction, you can change the hue also. You can make it uh, different. Yeah. And uh, so uh, this kind of flower has long, long, uh, long uh, branches, right? But they are cut short uh, as a bonsai plant sometimes. So we can extend that, maybe make a crossing like that. And then you can make a crossing. Uh, here you can go down and up. So you can go. You can make a hard crossing like that, or you can just leave uh, both uh, branches behind the flowers. It's all okay. Okay. And uh, but now we have like a number eight shape, right? And what what I do is I break that. Just leave that one, just break this one. It's, this is a tendency, not yet close. If I go up, it will be a number eight kind of shape. Shall we go down? It's, um, it's a good one, it's a good one. We call it the Nu, the Chinese character for woman. It's, uh, it's like that. Uh, it, actually, it's a good uh, crossing for, for doing that, but you don't want to make the two too even. Uh, so you want to. Uh, break this a little bit, maybe just like that. Okay, that. Uh, don't worry about this one. Oh, or, or you can just break this one as well. So it goes like that, maybe. Uh, oh, this is parallel. <laughs> you always uh, create this kind of uh, bad shape. You, uh, what's good is the triangles, right? the little triangles. And you can see I keep redefining sometimes. So you, ha you have an initial uh, tendency uh, or plan, and then you adapt to the situation. So this two, uh, maybe not very clear what's what, uh, but you, you, can, you can change it to like a, make it this part uh, different. Then don't worry about that, you can cover with uh, with color, so that 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 kind of adjustment is very common. Don't copy the others, you know, uh, others because uh, you're going to have your own problem and solve it. If you copy mm -hmm. others' mistake, it could be uh, your you know become a, yeah, the problem. So this color is, is too red. So you want to darken it a little bit. And then you can use a complementary color, maybe to. Uh, I don't really do the outline, just to uh, give some variation in, in blue. Maybe.